Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another video featuring Nightwish here on the channel as they perform the song Storytime back in 2013. Let's jump right in. It's definitely Storytime. Oh. Wow, I love the lighting. Oh yeah, great drum beat entering in here. Ah. <laughs> oh. Everyone doing their thing here. Marco, Floor. Oh my gosh, you guys! What a wonderful intro there with all the instrumentalists doing their thing. The crowd on the edge of their seats. I think this is five or six songs into the set list, and so the crowd is just eating this up. She introduced it, that it's time for a story. And here we are, the beginning of this, and I've learned a little more about this song. We'll talk about it. But Floor entering here, her mid-chest voice, some nice power already without any loud volume just yet. Just working our way into this, of course, I just love it. It's been too long since I featured Nightwish and just all the instrumentals going on, the wonderful lighting, great production quality in that intro, and now Floor bringing us in here with the lyrics, wonderful already. Yes! Nice gruff around her sound. <laughs> oh my gosh. A bit of rock edge or gruff around her sound here. In the mid to upper part of her chest voice, really giving it some charisma with the depth of the sound. Putting that edge on, you guys, and I love it. Of course, everyone having fun out in the audience, and I love the setup here. I did read a bit about the background of this song, inspired by the animated movie from the early 80s, which was also a symphonic poem called The Snowman. And I am not super familiar, but I did go and watch parts of this scene. Walking on the air, I believe, or walking in the air, uh, I believe, which I read that they had featured in a previous concert. And so this is sort of Tuomas, his take on what would have been put in that scene if a different composer had possibly done it for a remake. And so it is cool to hear it and hear these great lyrics right off. Floor doing a wonderful job, but I really just love the entire band as a unit here. Wonderful, excellent performance already. Oh, I love her. Rocking out there with the hair spin. Great phrasing. Yes! You guys, I love the chorus as well, but I really like her phrasing in the verse there. You know, some people would just do that all one volume really powerful, but she is giving us a bit of dynamic contrast within those phrases. Even within the gruffy sound, the rock edge there that she's giving at times to give it more emphasis. I like the parts that she's pulling back and not giving that sound equally as well, because it really just puts together as a package just so well in the verses there. And now, 
soaring a bit, some elongated notes into this chorus, just doing so well with her excellent breath support. I really love her as a performer. You all know that. And I'm just excited to be hearing more by Floor today and the band Nightwish. As a unit, I love them together. Let's go back a bit and get into this chorus again. Oh! <laughs> yes! Love it. it back here. Oh my gosh, you guys. What a beautiful chorus. A lot of lyrical references to other stories here, and I just really love Floor at the Front here, putting it all out there. But Tuomas, a great songwriter. We all know that, but I am loving this. And of course, Marco rocking it out over there. Other members of the band Total package performance here from back in 2013. You all have educated me about this concert. I did react to Ghost Love Score from this show. And there are others that you all have also mentioned that I should see from this. And I'm excited to see those as well. Uh, Romanticide, I believe. Uh, Ever Dream, the song right before this in the set list. So we're going to hear those. Don't you, don't you worry, you guys. <laughs> Bit of a transition section here as we pull back the volume, go back down to piano, the drums entering here over the top of it. Yes! Aha! She's beautiful. Building into this. The layering of the instruments also allows the dynamics to increase. Oh! Up in her head voice here. You got... <laughs> I love this. Now up into her head voice with some short or almost staccato lyrics here. Really utilizing that breath support to allow that to come out there. Just so well done. A nice focus to the head voice. You know, uh, singing head voice over a, a symphonic metal band like this, really hard to do. But Flora is really focusing it well there and producing it so expertly. That that's how that's allowed to come through there. Of course, the amplification helps. But if she was not producing that correctly, uh, it really wouldn't read over the band. The band is doing so much right now. She is interjecting the vocals over the top expertly, and I love hearing it, you guys. Back in the belting rock sound here. Ah. Love it, Peter Pan reference.
what incredible vocals there near the end, you all. Right as she transitioned out of that upper staccato head voice section, I call it staccato, it was shorter rhythms there, kind of detached, perfectly done up there, you guys. She jumped right back down into, well, actually her lower chest voice moved up in back into the mid for that wonderful, powerful belting quality there, sometimes with a rock edge or gruff sound around that. I just loved it so much. But then these power notes at the end held so perfectly. Right on the edge of that belting sound there. Floor giving us a full body experience there, you all. Just as she belts out that wonderful, wonderful melody of the ending here. So beautifully done. Complimented only by this excellent symphonic metal band, you guys. I am becoming such a huge Nightwish fan, and I'll be honest, this is not a genre I have listened to much ever in my life, but it just amps me up, it makes me smile, it just really excites me to hear more. And I have also reacted to another Nightwish performance with Taria in it, uh, and she, she was featured with Marco, they did a duet of the Phantom of the Opera, which just, you'll see my eyes bulge out of my head. And of course, my first Floorgasm and uh, Ghost Love score. I just love these bands. I love the different nuances the different singers bring to the group when they were with the band during those times. And I just enjoy learning more. And you all are educating me so much more. And we have a lot more Nightwish to see on the channel, you guys. Wow! <laughs> and I love knowing more about the background of these songs. It made it special to know, you know, sort of to almost what he was thinking when he wrote this song. Just so excellently done. This performance is outstanding as well. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction as much as I did today. If you did, please click like. Hit subscribe for me and leave me a comment down below about other songs from Nightwish. No matter who the lead singer is, I, I'm also going to do The Islander soon. That's on my list with Marco uh, singing. So I'm excited to learn more, to see more, to hear more, you guys. It just it makes me a better music fan, a teacher, a singer, a listener. It's just they are outstanding and I'm excited to hear and learn so much more. I've also left links to my social media, my Ko-fi page down below, and otherwise, just have a great day.